Hey everybody, Curtis here with another video for you. This time I just actually want to focus on these barefoot buttons as you see on a number of these stomp switches. There's these big shiny buttons and uh, got my Duo Jet here. It's got Filtertrons in it going into my Milkman Sound 20 watt creamer mic'd with a Sennheiser E906 and I just have the Yara compressor on so I'll just let you listen for kicks for a little bit. <laughs> So um, what we have here from barefootbuttons.com is really, really simple product, uh, really, really easy to use. So what I want to do is I just want to um, show you one up nice and close. And um, so what we have is this little button. And uh, if you can just look there, it actually says barefoot buttons in the side, nice and tastefully done. Barefootbuttons.com, they are... Uh, as you can see, there's little set screws. They give you a little Allen key, and you just place this on top of the stomp switch, turn in the little Allen keys until it's nice and tight and snug, and then it makes it easier. And so let's just do that now. Let's throw this on the uh, the Walrus uh, Messner overdrive. And so just set it on. You find the set screws. And you're starting to tighten them. I actually tighten them about half a turn each till it starts to snug up a little bit. And then I just kind of give them all one more little tighten. And then it's on, nice and snug. And uh, turns on and off the pedal nice and easy. Um, there's a number of reasons why you would want to use these. Um, some people that play in actual bare feet, they find that the stomp switch actually goes between their toes, which I don't really play in bare feet. Uh, sometimes maybe with socks. Um, but sometimes when I'm singing and playing, think about a band and all those dynamics and chords, I end up doing this, looking for the overdrive, and I don't quite hit it right in the right spot in you know um so just with this extra switch if you're tapping time it's just easier you can kind of hit the side of it you can kind of you can hit it right on it doesn't matter um but it either way it taps in the time nicely so as you can see that's changing the time on a number of those chase bliss pedals um another thing that's quite nice is just being able to bank up and down so on your strymon timeline you can press both of them easier uh, change your banks, bank up, bank down, all those sorts of things. So there's a number of different uses for them, not just people with bare feet, um, but I quite like them. They work really well. And uh, they're just really simple, easy to use product. They're made out of aluminum. Um, so I have another one here. And it's just, you know, as you can see, it's a simple piece of solid aluminum. And they come in a variety of colors. Um, and uh, so you can order to your taste. And uh, solid quality piece of aluminum machinery. Aluminum is not cheap these days. Aluminium, as some people say, um, is uh, going up in price, but uh, it's just really solid quality product. And barefootbuttons.com, uh, they also have these clear ones, like you see on this Emerson Custom M drive here. And if you put them near the pedal, the actual button itself kind of glows if the LED is near the clear button. So, very, very cool, barefootbuttons.com. Check them out. Um, I found out about them. I wanted to try some right away, and I'm very happy, and they're a really cool product. So I hope you dig them and uh, get some for yourself. Take care.